Okay, welcome to this week's video. I'm going to put the brakes on the Terry Gillingham series just for now, um, only for this week, because I just wanted to quickly talk about an actor um, that had a huge impact on my sense of humour um, through my family. You know, sort of his humour infiltrated into my family a bit, um, and that was Peter Salis. Partly through um, Last of the Summer Wine, because my granddad was a huge fan of that and he'd been in every single episode, all, you know, all 31 series. And, um, but for me, he was mostly the voice of Wallace from Wallace and Gromit and I was obsessed with Wallace and Gromit and my granddad loved Wallace and Gromit as well. And as a child, I was collecting all these um, magazines, weekly magazines on Wallace and Gromit and you could find out how things worked, how to make things, um, which was right up my alley. I completely loved that. Um, and you can't really separate Wallace from Peter Salis because he created the voice um, and he created the character for it. Although the animators animate sort of around that, he was the voice, he was sort of the driving force behind that. And because of that, he was a large part of my childhood. And a large part through that, and also through my granddad's going around their house growing up. I only really remember Last of the Summer Wine being on. Um, and I'm not sure if that's just because I've come to do this video, so that's all that my brain's churning out. But I, I seem to remember that being on a lot of the time. And, um, um, to, oh, to, and Tommy Cooper, he loved Tommy Cooper. <laughs> um, but Last of the Summer Wine, now I come to think of it, it was that and Last of the Summer Wine. And I remember sitting there watching it and even as a child I loved it watching these three um, old men sort of cycling about and just getting up to all sorts of mischief in their, in their neighbourhood. I don't remember a huge amount of it, it's really fuzzy, um, but for me it was the voice of Wallace and although he had a career that spanned lots of TV series, so lots of bit parts, he had bits parts in um, Doctor Who, um, he was in Stick of the Dump, um, which was an old um, sort of British comedy thing. Um, he was in films like um, Curse of Dracula, I think it was, Curse of the Werewolf, um, Dracula. Um, so he, he acted alongside Christopher Lee and he, I think he'd made himself sort of a bit of a star in that market, in the horror film market, um, as well as being on stage. And then got um, working along doing sort of Last of the Summer Wine um, within that, that comedy role and doing Wallace and Gromit within um, a comedy role a different target, or well, slightly different target audience, although Wallace and Gromit was, is loved, still is, by all generations, um, whereas um, Last of the Summer Wine was really, I guess, 30 upwards, probably at the time. Um, but, yeah, yeah, I'll get back on to doing some more of the uh, Terry Gillingham stuff next week. So I'm, I'm planning to do it next week. Um, so that'll be getting back onto doing Time Bandits. So that'll be the next one that I do. But I did want to slot this in um, just for the reasons that I've stated. Anyway, I'll catch you later. Take care. Bye. <laughs>